set goals for yourself. There's no reason that you can't set goals and work toward them. You wanna go on that trip? It's not too late. You figure out what the total number of points is that you still need, look at how many months you have left, divide it up, see how many points you need per month, and then work your little tail off. Book as many parties as you need to to get that done. You book them during these next two months. This is something I want to tell you. Book double what you think you might need. Yes, plan your vacations in. That's what we had our calendar for. You mark off when you're not going to be available. And then don't book a party right then. But you book double the parties that you think you're going to need. And as many home parties as you can. Because that's where the big sales come in. And then you just work. You work really hard and you earn that trip. I have total faith that you guys can do this. I want you to focus on, on what you do. Focus on, focus on the fun. Focus on, instead of this, oh, it's a slow time. Oh, I'm not having the sales that I normally do. Focus on why you're doing this. Why do you love this product? Why do you love this business? Why do you love this team that you're on? And you just keep remembering that. You just keep working and growing and learning and applying yourself and being committed to this business and things will happen. Be confident. I know that this is something that's very hard. I am doing a video for you and this is totally out of my comfort zone. I'm just having to pretend that I'm good with it. Hopefully you guys are not on the other side of this video watching it, laughing at me, but be confident. Be you, be relaxed, be yourself when you talk to everybody. I know someone, if somebody says something to you, oh, I like your nails. I know your first instinct is like, duh. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. What do I do? What do I say? Just be you. Say what comes natural. Just be you. Be friendly. Be enthusiastic. Smile. Even when you're talking on the phone, even when you're typing, you can type and be enthusiastic. Exclamation points, all caps. Be enthusiastic and let that shine through in your communication. Um, wear your products all the time. I know this time of year, things are busy, life is busy, but maybe set a day every week that you change your jams and just do it. Wear your product all the time, advertise for yourself everywhere you go. I was getting a cell phone the other day, my phone died, so I was at the kiosk and it was taking forever, and I saw the girl had on this kind of, it looked like crushed candy cane nail polish, like little pieces of, and it, it kind of almost looked like May flowers. So I looked carefully and I realized, oh, it's just a polish. And I said, hey, I see you like to polish your nails. She was like, yeah, you know, we chatted a minute. And so then I was talking and I had my hands up. She's like, I really like your nails. And so then we started to talk about it. At the end, I got a new cell phone. I got a phone number, email, address to send her samples. And I got a potential party and possible recruit from her just from talking with her, being myself, and letting her see how much I love this product. So one more thing in closing. I know this is, is being a little long, but two things that we never want to be when we are talking about Jamberry and approaching people about booking parties um, we never want to be desperate. That's a given. Oh, my calendar's totally empty for the month. I need you to help me. Help me. You know, I'm, I'm finally back. I was doing this, and now you can have a party with me. No. You want them to want to host a party. Go back to that video that I posted earlier with Christy Tyner. She's giving you reasons about why people book parties. Go back to that, watch that, put that in your mind, and then don't be desperate when you talk to people. Yeah, in your mind, you're probably like, oh, come on, I need you to book this party with me. I've got to do this. I have to, 
you know, have to make so much to re-rank. They don't need to know that. You need to create a sense of urgency. In the next 24 hours, anybody that books with me, whatever, okay? Don't be desperate. You just be yourself, be confident, be enthusiastic and excited, and make them want to party with you. And then don't be pushy, okay? We don't want to be... And I've run into consultants like this, and I've had people from my church tell me, uh, yeah, you know, so-and-so is really pushy about. So when you are being pushy, you're thinking about me, me, me. I need you to do this because I, I need to make these sales. I need to have so many bookings because I need this. Yeah, in your mind you know that, but you don't want that to ever come across to your customer. If we're not telling people about this opportunity, whether it be the party or whether it be the business side of it, then you're saying they don't deserve to have the same opportunities that we have. We want them to be paid to have pretty nails. We want them to be able to party with their girlfriends and make great new friends on a team and join our team and see the best team in all of Jamberry by joining Team Jamstock. We are maybe being controlling because we've already predetermined that it's not right for them. I've had a lot of parties for people that I would have never thought that that'd be something that they'd be into. Just because you look at them and you see yeah, they don't do their nails. Doesn't mean that they're not going to love this. Maybe there's a reason they don't do their nails. Because they can't get nail polish to stay on. Thought of that? Um, we're being selfish because we're not looking at their need. So this is when we're sharing the opportunity. Maybe they just need some money for a car payment. Maybe they're saving for a trip. Maybe they just need something to make them feel like somebody again it's such a great opportunity that we should share it we should share the product obviously because it's fabulous let other people know that they too can get paid to have pretty nails and then just focus on um on why you're doing this and remember things are not always gonna be super easy when you're in your warm market they might be when I joined February of 2014 parties were just falling in my lap I had more than I could handle at one time that's not the case anymore I am having to go look for parties I'm having to get out of my comfort zone ask people to host parties, to host fundraisers. Don't like it, but that's what we have to do. And you never know who these people are that are interested in that, and you never know that maybe they're waiting for you to ask. So that's just my two cents, ladies. I hope, well, I hope you took the time to watch this. You can tell that I'm, I get super psyched up about this. I want us to have I want us to break the mold. I want it to not be, um, oh, the dreaded J months. I want it to be the awesome J months. Like, oh my goodness, our team blew away our records. Our team approached people when they were on vacation and ended up with new customers in other states. Our team worked the business. They set up their power hours. Even when their kids were out of school, they still applied themselves they still got up, did what they needed to do, got their job done, and then went on with their day. Our team is working, is consistent, is caring about the hostesses and the customers and wanting them to have what we have. And our team is just going to have a fabulous summer and be working on those bookings for the next couple months. Thanks.